Chen Ningyang said, Li Jin is really one of the few best physicists I've ever seen. As the world's best physicist, Chen Ningyang unexpectedly made such a high evaluation of a young student who is only 19 years old. What are the outstanding features of this young genius? At the age of 19, he was recommended by Chen Ningyang to study at the Massachusetts Institute of Technology and received his doctorate at the age of 24. When many people thought he was going to stay overseas, he decided to return to China after completing his studies and devoted himself to the development of China's integrated circuit industry. So what contribution has such a young talent made to China? Hi! Welcome to TechTeller. Before we start today's video, please subscribe to our channel, which is the encouragement that we can create more videos. Okay, let's move on to today's topic. In today's video, let us talk about the story of a young Chinese chip genius who surprised Chen Ningyang. Okay, let's get started. Born in an ordinary family in Jiangsu province, China, Li Jin excelled from an early age. Among the many subjects he studied, this boy was only very interested in physics and often had his own unique understanding in the process of learning. In addition, Li Jin is also very interested in microelectronics and often looks for research materials outside of class to explore and study on his own. Because of his excellent performance, Li Jin won first place in many physics competitions and became famous in the local area, from the students around him to the teachers and leaders of the school. At that time, Li Jin often represented his school and region in many physics competitions. It was not until later that he entered the Asian physics competition for the first time and finally took the gold medal that this international award came and made Li Jin completely famous. Jiangsu province gave this young genius a series of reports, and many universities in China extended invitations to him. After much deliberation, Li Jin chose to attend Tsinghua University, the best university in China in the field of physics. He also undoubtedly chose to major in physics, which he liked best. During his time at the university, Li Jin was excited by the new worlds portrayed by his teachers, the new knowledge in the library, and the profundity of the subject itself. Like a thirsty man who sees a clear spring, he plunged down on the shore of knowledge and drew more than his fill. Hard work and diligence became synonymous with Li Jin, a student who was gifted but not arrogant, and who was loved by his teachers. Professor Yang Chen Ning was one of those teachers who were very fond of him. In Professor Yang's opinion, Li Jin had a unique talent for physics study and research, and was particularly hardworking, meticulous in his work. And on top of these factors that deserve to be recognized, Li Jin's own strong curiosity for knowledge in the field of physics is very suitable for scientific research. After confirming that this child has great potential, Professor Yang personally recommended him to study at MIT. At only 19 years old, Li Jin set off on his own and started a glorious moment in his studies. Most Chinese students always encounter a language challenge when studying abroad, and Li Jin was no exception. He studied English on his own, day and night, in order to get into a more rapid state of learning, and improved his speaking and listening skills significantly in a very short time. He has gained the admiration and recognition of the Chinese student group for his strong adaptability. In addition to the language challenge, life in a foreign country is also very different from that in China. There are so many temptations in the United States, a developed country. What is remarkable is that Li Jin always keeps in mind that his purpose of coming to the US is to learn knowledge and dedicate himself to the development of his country after he has finished his studies. Therefore, he always maintained his usual modest and cautious attitude and devoted himself to his studies. He commuted to the school library, laboratory and dormitory every day. MIT is extremely famous in the field of physics research, and when Li Jin arrived here, he really saw the different academic environment and advanced scientific experimental equipment from those in China. With the opportunity to learn at a higher level, how could Li Jin just let it go? In a place like MIT, where the world's top talents are gathered, Li Jin is no less than others. His grades are among the best, he has been awarded several scholarships, and he has won the recognition and praise of many professors. At the age of 24, he received his doctorate from MIT. After leaving school, Li Jin became the target of many American universities and technology companies. The high salary, 
coupled with the attractive scientific research support provided, is irresistible to most people who love scientific research. In the eyes of many of Li's friends, this is also the best choice for Li Jun's personal development. However, those who have the motherland at heart have their own choices. Li Jun did not choose to stay in the United States, he knows that the development of China's microelectronics industry is a bit slow, especially in the integrated circuit is often subject to foreign technology, and does not achieve independent design and development. If he did not contribute to the motherland, it would be his lifelong regret. And compared to the United States, China has a larger market and new opportunities. So at the age of 24, Li Jin gave up his generous offer in the US and decided to return to China. In 2010, after returning to China, Li Jin chose to start his own business in his hometown in Jiangsu province, and founded Suzhou Backward Technology Company. And in this war without gunpowder, the first thing Li Jin did, is to think of every way to commercialize the model, the integrated circuit this industry chain complete build, so as to form an industrial system, to attract more talent and capital to join. It turns out that Li Jin really did it. Today, this company has become one of the outstanding enterprises in Suzhou, bringing great benefits to the economy of Suzhou and promoting the development of related industries around. And Li Jin was elected as the vice president of Jiangsu Institute of Integrated Circuit Process Technology in 2018, becoming one of the pioneers of semiconductor integrated circuits. From a small startup company to a top notch microelectronics technology company in China, Li Chen has led his team to grow steadily, making the company's related technologies at the international advance level, which has been greatly improved compared with 10 years ago. Professor Chen Ningyang said that Li Jin was one of the few young physicists he had ever met. It seems that the extremely high evaluation at the beginning has now been confirmed. Although now Li Jin is almost 40 years old and has achieved great success, he is still moving forward quietly in the industry with great enthusiasm as he did when he was 19 years old. Using the process line as a platform and capital as a link, he builds a complete production line like IDM. This is what Li Chen wants to do and is doing now. Do you think Li Chen will succeed? Will he lead China's IC industry chain to a broader future? Okay, that's all for today. Please put your comments below and share your insightful ideas. Please keep following our channel and like our videos. I am Tech Teller, the person to tell you the opinions that worth spreading every day. Thank you so much for your continuous support. Your precious time with us is highly appreciated. See you.